Hi, Rich from Dinoport. I get a ton of questions on spark plug uh, color. I'm on a worldwide forum and uh, everybody posts their plug. Hey, what do you think of my color? Well, nobody in the world knows your plug color, and here's why piston clearance, your length wide open, timing, compression, octane, uh, stinger diameter basically, the type of racing you're doing. Um, so, the other misconception is everybody tends to look at the white porcelain on this new spark plug. Uh, you can easily read a new spark plug, even in a five-second drag race run, because of the heat on the uh, prong. So here's a, uh, here's a plug here set up for 500 feet. See the heat all the way around it. Now, if we take and look at this plug here, the white looks hotter to the inexperienced, but if you now look back here where the heat is, this plug is much colder, so at least two jets uh, richer than our drag setup. The other interesting thing, um, we run an air-cooled head, which is another misconception. Everybody said we had to have liquid heads. No, in a five-second run or even an eight-second quarter-mile run, where I have the national record at 160, an air-cooled head is fine. Um, road racing or something or motocross or that, yes, then your liquid head, once your motor, everything stabilizes, will help you. Uh, here's an interesting one. And this is where if you have good uh, piston clearance, you can actually, and we were way too lean on the jetting with a new carb setup, uh, ate the plug back um, and luckily didn't seize. Normally, um, if it wasn't a loose engine, we would have seized. So, guys, I hope this helps. Basically, this temp gun here is what the inside of your, your piston and your combustion chamber tells your spark plug. You can do the same here with this propane torch. You can take the torch, heat a plug, and turn it color. So um, I guess the moral of this story is you're going to have to be the one to find out what your best spark plug color is. Um, and the only thing I can relate to is I raced uh, expert motocross and then I raced cross country. A motocross bike could be jetted leaner than a cross country bike because on the cross country at an enduro we could be 90 miles an hour wide open down a road for a mile where we needed to be one jet bigger. Um, it's so there, the plug would be darker on the motocross bike, a little leaner on the uh, enduro bike. So, hope this helps, guys. There's no magic answer. Uh, it's up to you.